many people around the world. I fell in love with our next guest way back in 2003, watching season two of American Idol. I mean, how long ago? That's when most of us had landline phones to cast a vote. His underdog story and soulful sound captured America's heart, leading many to be Team Ruben all the way to the end. Ruben stuttered, beat out our friend Clay Aiken for the title American Idol in season two of the iconic show. 20 years later, he is still celebrating. Ruben is here with us again. I'm so happy to perform a song from his new eighth studio album, The Way I Remember It. And he's got new music and a new baby on the way. And I'm excited because Ruben's wife is joining the show. This is a whole love letter making a stop from his national concert tour. He's still on the road with Clay Aiken, but he came to see the Tam family to share some love. Please welcome our friend, Ruben Stoddard! <laughs> Welcome back, friend. I feel like I just saw you. I know, I know. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. The velvet teddy bear in the house. Hello, hello, hello. I know you ran into Miss Patty LaBelle backstage. Oh, my God. Listen, that's like everybody's mama. Yeah. So <laughs> I was super excited to see her, as always, as always excited. She's such a, a wonderful person and a legend. We're blessed to be around her have her energy, so It is so sweet. Great. Does it, I mean, How I Remember, which I love that title, seems like yesterday you were here with Clay. I know, right? But when you just look at the whole scope of things, you're about to be a dad for the second time. Yeah, man. People are still coming to your show to see your new music. Right. You know, when the new baby comes, how do you explain this life? I have no idea how... <laughs> You know, um, I, I guess I'll do like I, I've done with Olivier and just show him the video of me and Elmo singing together. Oh, that was and a big so moment. That was a big moment for me also, but he, you so know... So your firstborn Olivier yes. now can kind of understand he a little bit. He can kind of understand because he comes to show... Beautiful baby. <laughs> But he, he watches the videos of me singing, and that's, that's how he knows what daddy does. He was like, dad me. is legit. He knows Elmo. Yeah, man. Now, see, yeah. I thought he would say dad is legit because you've been trying to teach Clay how to dance while on <laughs> tour. We have a video. I heard you go, ta. <laughs> we have a video of you trying to teach Clay. What, 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 OK, OK. One, two, one, a, a. Listen, one, I'm uh, actually uh, really uh, proud of him, okay. man. Like, this is, this is. Come a long way from our first tour. Like, we really worked hard on these moves. I'm, I'm proud of my brother. So is, is Clay counting in his head? I'm, I'm actually, if you can't really see it, but like every night I'm like, one, two, <laughs> one, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. He, he's right on time. He we, likes it. We're having a blast. You're having it. And that, I see that in you both. I mean, yeah. it's crazy. Because you, you've been on a whirlwind. You've also been, a pro you've been teaching yes. as a professor. At the University of Tennessee, Chattanooga, I teach. Yeah. <laughs> so during the pandemic, we all were trying to figure out what we we're going to do. And um, they, they That's asked you me as to, Professor Rubin. That is. They asked me to do some master classes, which turned into me actually being a professor on the campus for a whole year. So this right. was a wonderful experience. And it gave me an opportunity to use my education so, okay, I, I, love I love the it. body language of the professor. You've got the coffee there. Yeah. So, I mean, what, what's your style of teaching? I am a, 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 a encourager. Yeah. I like, you know, young people to feel good about themselves. Listen, it's hard enough uh, going through college, finishing all your classes, your prerequisites, and then these guys are actually in their major. Oh, wow. So it's just another, like, you know, when you were a music ed major, you have to finish everything and then focus on the music section. So these guys are in their major working hard, and I just want to be an inspiration. Listen, I did it, you can too. Oh my you God, know? you know what? That's interesting because you you pour not only this wealth of experience mm -hmm. from going through this, I mean, that show, iconic when you were on there, yes, and this career that's just kept going. I saw you last time, you were performing Teddy Pendergrass hits, and my yeah. husband was like, we gotta go see Ruben Stutter. We drove to the suburbs, <laughs> packed house, packed house. 
but what you're doing for those students, mm -hmm. that, that's, that changes lives. That changes how they see the business, how they see themselves. And if you don't believe me, some of your former students at UTC wanted to share this message. Take a look. <laughs> Hi, Professor Stoddard. It's Bella oh, Lamb. I just Bella. want to thank you so much for everything you taught me while you were at UTC. Ruben has helped me to view music from a different perspective. Working with Ruben for me meant really getting down into the nitty gritty of what it means to be a musician and how to perform in a meaningful way. You had such an impact on my career and I miss you in the class so, so, so much. Bye, y'all. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what? Cause I, I... Uh, you know what? You, you <laughs> try to pull them tears. If you try to pull them tears. I'm not going to cry on the <laughs> Tim Hall show. Okay? <laughs> I'm not crying. This time. But it's crazy. Like, hey, Mr. Stutter. Thank you. You're Mr. Listen, I made a commitment after I won American Idol, uh, especially with my foundation, to give young people in Alabama and other parts of the South the experiences that I craved to have. Yeah. So I always wanted... I always... It was so many people I knew that were from Alabama, that were in music, that I never got an opportunity to learn from. So I wanted to give those experiences, um, the training to young people yeah. that grew up that wanted to be in music like me. And this is just the icing on the cake to see these young people live out their dreams. Bella is a songwriter. Wow. Um, the other young lady that spoke, she's an orchestrator. Like, these are brilliant young people, and they're going to be great. You know what it makes me think about, though? When we first met you on the road at American Idol, your brother, you lost your brother in 2018, mm -hmm. and he drove you to American Idol. He did. He was your wingman, and yeah. so much of the love that he poured into you, you're transferring to people who aren't even related to you. Well, you know, um, me and my brother, that's my best friend. Um, and um, it was just, you know, he wanted to make sure that... He wanted to play in the NFL. It never happened for him. And he wanted to make sure that everything that I said I was going to do, I did. So he, you know, took time off of his job, drove me to the audition, made sure I was there on time, yeah. and he sacrificed a lot yeah. to, to make sure and I And you're giving so much to other people. It's so beautiful.